हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कोर रूटीन कॉन्टेक्स्ट एलिमेंट व्हिच इज डिस्पैचर्स डिस्पैचर इज यूज्ड टू स्विच बिटवीन थ्रेड्स इट इज वेरी हैंडी एंड इट इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट ऑफ आवर कॉटलिंग कोर रूटीन सो नाउ वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्पैचर्स वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्पैचर्स इन व्हिच वी हैव डिस्पैचर्स डॉट मेन डिस्पैचर्स डॉट आयो डिस्पैचर डिफॉल्ट and lastly we have dispatchers dot unconfined and these are having their own merit and demerits we will discuss it very briefly in this video so for that i'm going to have this very basic main function it is already created by me so first let's discuss the different types of dispatcher so as i told you we have four different types of dispatcher and these dispatchers have separate roles and responsibility uh, let's say you want to do your ui updation you have certain logic and after performing those logic you want to update your user interface now user interface something which is only touchable by your main thread you cannot update your user interface via any background thread or io thread you can only use main thread to update your user interface now let's understand this thing a very simple scenario let's say you want to fetch information from your network or backend apis once you get back the apis because those api will surely take some time to complete and if you delegate this task to your main thread surely your application will respond you application is not responding because your main thread is blocked and responsibility of main thread is to continuously update your user interface after certain fixed period of interval so what you can do you can perform that uh, operation on a separate thread and once you get back the result you can simply switch between the threads use main thread and update your user interface now this is handy and this will never crash your application so let's see how we can do this so i have this uh, very basic uh, main function i'm using a run blocking just to create a new code in scope and i'm launching a new code in it i'm using here print ln and call this first and after that i want to show you the thread name so thread current thread name so this will print you the thread name that this core routine was using so execute it you can see this is using main thread so by default when you use any uh, launch or any async coroutine builder to build a core routine eventually it will execute on main thread now let's say i want to change the thread from main to any background thread so as i told you we have dispatcher dispatcher is a coroutine context element that that means you can pass this dispatcher in place of your context and launch will have a coroutine context so in this place you can very easily pass your dispatchers so now i want to use the context and in this context i want to pass my dispatchers we have four different types of dispatcher as we have already discussed we have default io confined and main so main thread is used when you want to update your user interface so you can go with main next we have io so io is very good if you want to perform any kind of network request or you want to update your local database or do some kind of operation which is somehow related to local database so io is well optimized for that use case next we have default default is used when you want to perform a very huge very heavy computation let's say you want to perform audio transformation you want to perform video transformation you want to do something which is related to video processing so this surely take a lot of cpu now this operation you can delegate to your dispatcher dot default and lastly we have unconfined so unconfined is unconfined if you use unconfined by default it will start calling your coroutine on the thread that is used by you to call this particular coroutine and once it reaches on the first suspension point after that it will switch the thread so let's discuss one by one all of these dispatchers so let's say i'm using here io and now when i execute it you will see we are getting something else dispatcher default worker one now i want to use here default so again this will use some background thread instead of main as you can see in here now i want to use here unconfined so as i told you unconfined uses by default main thread because it is 
executed on main thread so that's why i'm getting here main now the interesting part of unconfined is let's say i'm using here delay of one second now delay is a suspendable function that means this will become my first suspension point and after that when i print my thread name you will see some difference and the difference is it start using some worker thread background worker thread okay so execute it first main and this time you can see it uses the default executor so it is not using your main thread so this is a behavior when you are using dispatcher dot unconfined so yeah we are pretty much discuss all of the dispatches that we have and also we have discussed the use cases when to use which now i'm going to show you a one more builder which is with context just control click on it again we have to pass code in context so basically using with context you can very easily switch threads within your coroutine builder so by default i'm using a dispatcher dot unconfined that means it uses main thread and let's say i want to perform some operation which will take a lot of time let's say i want to perform some kind of network request call now network request call is something which is heavily optimized for dispatcher dot io so let's say i want to just switch the thread from a uh, main to dispatcher dot io or io thread so for that you can use with context as it is used to switch between thread well with context will also provide you the return type which is type t so you can mention the type and it will return you the type once the execution is completed from your function so it's a suspendable extended function over code in scope now i want to use some delay of one second and i want to print the thread name so i'm using here with context first and at the end i'm using thread dot current thread and its name and at the end i want to return few information let's say four so this is my information that i want after the execution and i will call this first and at the end i am going to print this with context two and at the end i want to just use my first okay so execute it so we have first main this is coming from here then we have with context first default dispatcher worker one that means this with context uses dispatcher default worker one or you can say some background thread after the one second of delay it will simply print the four that we are receiving from this function and printing over here so we have first main then the next print statement is coming from here and if you check the thread name you will see default dispatcher worker one and lastly we have with context to with context to is a string and lastly we have the value which is four this is coming from with context coroutine builder well this is all about dispatchers dispatcher is usually used when you want to switch between threads we have four different kind of dispatcher dispatcher.io main unconfined and default and we have discussed pretty much each of them very briefly so that's it for this video i hope you got the idea what is dispatchers